Oh, what's up everybody? Titan, Titans of CNC right here in Flower Mound, Texas. You guys have seen us take this amazing journey to Texas and build this 40,000 square foot educational manufacturing facility to serve you guys. We have brought a ton of technology from small CNC machines to huge CNC machines to monster CNC machines, EDM, additive, all of that. And through everything, one of the most important machines was not here and I literally was pulling my hair out because we couldn't get material cut in a timely manner. But now, I'm excited because we just got our new hide mix saw over here. This saw right here, it's like 14 by 14 is the capacity for like square or round bar. It's like a saw in the box right there. So the blade is inside this box. Tyson is actually cutting some 4140 right now and he's gonna take some beast cuts. It's got a laser that comes across. You can hear that cut right there. It sounds so good because it's coming down perfectly parallel to the floor. Like it's not at an angle, it's coming down perfectly parallel and the drive that's bringing it down has 8.8 .8 horsepower. It's an absolute beast. Another thing I like is just the safety. A lot of saws are open, and if you open the door when the saw is running, everything stops. So as the blade comes down, especially in hard materials like nickel alloys, Monel, Inconel, all that, when it comes down, if it hits a hard spot, if it starts tapering, the saw actually knows it because it has a cut monitor that watches for that taper right there. So it will alert you if that actually happens. So right now we're cutting on automatic. So we're cutting three inch blanks. So the front jaws clamp, boom. The back jaws open, go back, clamp, front jaws open, and it pushes it in three inches. We call that indexing. The saw can actually go 24 inches in a single index. And if you wanted 30 inches, 35 inches or more, it'll actually do multiple indexes and know exactly where it's at to give you the perfect length of material. We do a lot of thin wall aerospace parts and this vise can actually adjust its clamping pressure so that we can run those parts without crushing them. With some of the other saws that I've used, you've had to put the blade on and get it just right and then sit there cranking up the pressure on the blade. Where this saw, it actually adjusts the blade tension for you and it turns it down when it's not being used and turns it up when it's cutting something. Everything's laid out on the screen. You can turn things on and off by pushing the F keys. You have options for your chip conveyor, your coolant. This button here is if you want to stop the blade at a certain position, so maybe you don't want to go through the part all the way. You have options for that. We have our motor to turn on and off the motor. I'm done using it, I'll turn that off right now. And then at the bottom here, we have options for opening and closing our vices. Now one thing with this saw, it has a lot of safety features to it. For the vices, you can't actually open and close them by pushing the buttons. You actually have to hit the safety switch on the side here, and then it'll let you open and close both the shuttle vise and the clamping vise. There's a little joystick here for moving up and down the blade so you can get it into position. When you start cutting, that starting position that you have the blade in will determine the start and the end of the cut. So it'll, once it's done with the cut, it'll go back to where you jogged it. It also has a little safety thing here. You can't actually move it just by trying to move it. You have to push up on it and then you're able to move up and down the blade. One other thing I really like is that you can clearly see your speeds and feeds on the screen and you can adjust them accordingly before you even run the job. So you can get everything set to how you want it and then hit the start button. Oh, Tice, hey. awesome as always. Thank you. Boom. One of the cool things too is I know that Tyson is about to take these pieces over to the big SMX mill turn. He's got a monster insert. We've never ran this thing. He's gonna simply grab those, take them over there. He's gonna take this insert and blast through at a thousand surface feet. And we're gonna make a video for you guys and you guys are gonna see if it actually worked. And that's what we're doing right now, just educating on everything. Big CNC's, EDM, hide mech in the house right here at Titans of CNC. Texas baby, subscribe, hit the like button, put your comments down below. We read them and we actually get ideas for videos from your comments. Boom.